Walk up in the life. Yeah, I'm really am. Talking my sh life. I'm really him. Hold up. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, welcome back to the Diamond Duels podcast. My name is Zach Gaming Dad 25. As always, this is my co host, Josh 2K. What's good, everybody? And today, we got another special guest with us. This guy really came on the scene heavy this year with one of the biggest controversies of the year, which we're going to talk about later. It's going to be my boy, Two Way Dream. Say what's up to everybody, bro. Yo, yo, yo. How we doing, boys? Hanging in there, man. Living another day. So, as always, we're going to start the podcast with this or that. Um, this week is going to be kind of older cars in this year compared to cars that came like these last two drops. Uh, keep in mind, we're going to do this based off of how they were when they were released. So, obviously not like how it is now, but kind of like their stature when they were released. Josh, you want to lead us off? Yeah, at Point Guard, we got the new Oscar versus Diamond Book when he first came out. That's a tough one because Buck it could do it all on ob offense, obviously. And then you got, uh, but, but obviously Booker can't do much on defense, but Big O, Big O does it all for you. Very well-rounded card. So for that one, I'm going to have to go Big O. I bet. For the two guard, we got Pink Diamond Kobe versus a new Pink Diamond PG. That's that's a no-brainer for me. Obviously, my favorite card in the game right now. I'm um, shooting guard Kobe for sure, for sure. I don't think there's gonna be a card for a while. Mm -hmm. that, at least at the two-yard position, that's gonna really top. Especially him. if you put the 62 Hoff badges on them. Yeah, there's no beating that. Yeah. Nah. Now this one we don't know yet. So this one's going off of what we expect. Mm -hmm. Small four. We got pink diamond pippin versus the michael beasley that's supposed to be dropping tomorrow oh that's a tough one because the amethyst beasley obviously was he was he was getter. so he was yeah. so nice yeah. man yeah, bucket getter for sure but that pippin like i said oh with the big O, just a very well-rounded card and can do it all for you on offense and defense so for that one and i feel like has one of the best jumpers in the game for sure so for that i'm gonna have to go pippin all right so for power forward we got pink diamond chet versus a new pink diamond e jen Lian. Ooh. so last year that e jillian was a great card the galaxy opal and chet this year he's pretty good he could hold his own on defense even though he's lacking the strength but as long as he has like the jumper he did last year which was a fantastic jumper i feel like he's just going to be a little bit more well suited to guard the paint so for that i'm gonna have to go ye okay now this one i think this is everybody's question wemby versus yao Ooh, that's a good one so obviously you got um wemby who's not as strong versus yeah who's probably gonna have 99 strength and but yao's jumper it depends on how his jumper is looking wemby has one of the best big man jumpers right now so it's going to be a toss up. We're just going to have to see how he's going. But for me right now, I'm just going to have to say Yao just because we all know how Yao is every year. There's no B in that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So that was this or that. Let us know down below how you feel about the new drop, which we're about to get into compared to all the cards we've been having. So let's just get straight into it, guys. The packs are coming tomorrow. Everybody's been calling out Yao for the past two weeks. What, what are we thinking about these cards? More specific, let's start with Yao. What are we thinking about Yao? What, how do we think it's going to be? And how does he compare to other cards so far? I see I see a lot of stuff on Twitter where people are... I don't know. I feel like they're underrating what they think 2K is going to give them. 2K gassed the fuck out of the Yao last yeah, year. And I think they're going to gas him again. I really do. Although I don't think he's going to be as broken as he was last year. Because last year, mashing was the meta. Absolutely. So I think... He's not going to be as good as Yao was last year, at least from a game-breaking standpoint. But I think people are underrating. I'm seeing people say, like, 60 speed, 73 ball. Like, no, he's getting 80 speed. He's probably getting an 80 plus three ball. Like, they're going to gas him. They're going to gas him. So that's where I am with the Yao. Plus, he has Shea upper, which is a pretty good upper. All right, what, do, what do you think, two way? Yeah, like like Josh said, mashing isn't as OP as it has been in previous years. So that has the potential to maybe not make Yao as game breaking as he was in the past. But yeah, there's no can't discredit Yao. He's always going to be a problem on the court. And I think 
um, the biggest question is going to be when they play against each other with Wimby and Yao, is speed versus strength. That's mm-hmm. what it boils down to. If you're like a, a dribbler, you're going to like Wimby better. Yao's going to get like the 80 plus speed, but it's going to be a clanky 80. He, he's not going to move smooth at all. Wimby kind of moves a little bit smoother. And then the jumper is going to be in the 80s. But nowadays, anything over 80, yeah, pink, the, the, the diamond Larry Bird is free coach. That gives you the boost there. You add the shoe boost on him, and he's up to 90. He's up to 93 already. So the three is not going to be the factor. It's really going to be that speed versus strength. We won't see it until we play both the cards. Uh, Yao is going to do a little bit better in the paint against some of these bigger bodies. And it's, it's kind of like you said, we've got to see how they play out. We won't know because we haven't seen it yet. And then this Michael Beasley got it. He's going to be the truth. Me as someone who's not, I'm not phenomenal at the game. That Amethyst, Michael Beasley, um, when I used to have my main account, was so fucking good. He had the quickest jumper at the time. It might still be the quickest jumper. Honestly, this shit was so fast. It was hard to contest. If they add some some dribbling to him and some defense, he's going to be a problem. What's your guys' take? I heard he's only available in the packs. You could only pull Michael Beasley. So, so that's what it, sometimes that's what 2K, it sounds like. Sometimes 2K doesn't think things out. Is there a chance that's true? A hundred percent. There's a chance, but maybe it was just worded in the weird way mm-hmm. to where that's not I'd necessarily the case. Yeah, well, luckily we pull, well, luckily we pull packs every week. Maybe one of us get lucky. Yeah, I was thinking the maybe. same thing when I read it. I was like, that's usually not something that 2K would do, but. It's just a whole different year in general like we have we've seen a bunch of new things like that inferno grind was kind of new to the game we haven't seen something like that previously just getting a whole set for free and yeah have we had a card like I, that yet this year that was just pack specific i don't think we oh, have Jalen well. brunson right well the, oh, the no, oh yeah brunson. yeah but that card was trash but yeah so we, we've had one though because I know that he was in the NBA. Was, it, was it Jeremy Lin in the player market? He was, was he just, he was only bit. player market. Yeah. He wasn't in packs. Oh, okay. Okay. I couldn't No, remember. no, he did. He did end up being in super packs, though. And like the, the diamond yeah, equal chance remember, pack and stuff like that. He eventually made his way into packs. I mean, I really hope that that's not what they're going to do. Because I feel like this Michael Beast is about to be sued. He's about like, to be. He, he might be the car everybody's been waiting for. Yeah. Yeah, I could see him being the best card in the game. Like, I feel like if he's locked behind packs, they're going to be like, all right, everybody's been asking for all these cigs. Here you go. Yeah. Go get them. If you really want them, let's go open the packs. <laughs> yeah, and- especially because they're their percentages came out and they took a 7% decrease of what they expected on their revenue for the quarter. <laughs> they got to make that money back. They, they say y'all, y'all thought Yao was going to be the best card in the game. And like I said, I can see him doing it just because one, Michael Beasley is a known name. Like he didn't have the best NBA career, but th- there's rumors out there that his name holds weight. Like they said when he played on the Heat with LeBron, they said LeBron never beat them in the one-on-one their entire tenure together. Like he was like that. He was like that. So I could see them making him that car, especially as good as the Ami was. They kind of gave us a little taste with the Ami. And then they're like, yeah, just, they don't even know what the fuck's coming. <laughs> and then who else? We got the Ejin, Ejin Lee coming. I think he's going to be a Chet clone. That OJ Mayo is looking pretty cool. We haven't seen it. I don't think we saw OJ last year, did we? Um, We did, I think. Um, it was either last year or early this year. Let me look it up. I thought we OJ. did, though. Let me see. I, I hope they make OJ good because he was such a bucket whenever he was in the league. Yeah, he was one I of the really one of the best one of the best high school mixtapes of all time. But, uh, yeah, and, yeah, oh yeah, we had we had an OJ last year. He had a pink diamond in season five, and the Miami in season four. But uh, oh, yeah, 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 and, and he's he's point guard. He's point guard out eligible. Last year, let's look at last year's card. So he's 6'5", 92 three ball, ninety three mid, ninety driving dunk. Overall, the card st- stats wise looks pretty mid for the time it came out. Like everything in the low 90s, pretty much. But I guess it's more based on the attributes this year. Yeah, so his attributes will probably be a little better. Um, he got Michael Jordan dribble style. 
J.R. Smith, upper and lower. So, I mean, he was okay, he Carm. Be he could be a bucket for sure. But yeah, E, I think, is going to be a, like a chat clone almost. Not like not literally, better, but they're they're gonna release. they're gonna play the same way. They're gonna be about the same size, play the same way, be a shooter on offense. You know, not the best interior defense. Get some nice block animations. I think they're gonna be like you said. It's gonna come down to the sigs and the release. Um, so I think I'm not gonna be like if I pull them, cool. But I'm not like looking forward to them too much. Cause I love my Chet. Chet holds down the power forward position for me for a while. Yeah. Yeah, Chad was a or is, is there to the game. is there something I'm missing? Mm-hmm. No, it's pretty spot on. I don't think. So. Yeah, I don't. If they give him the same release he had last year, though, I, I want that ye. Yeah, that'd that be my power cool. forward. If it's the same release, though. But let's talk about this new glitch set. I said before it came out that it was gonna be ass. Yeah. And I mean, it's. I feel like I was pretty spot on. Yeah, Draymond defensively is elite. I've heard a lot of good things about Peja. But this drop might as well not even happen. If you but ask me. but I don't think it's as bad as everybody's making it seem. I just think the expectations skyrocketed. Like why when we saw a Draymond Green card, everybody's like, oh my god, best point guard in the game. Like what made people think? Like like I said I don't from know, the jump, it was be trash. no, I thought from the jump this card is not going to give you shit on offense, and he's going to be amazing it's on tall, defense. Great, yeah, and, and that's exactly what it is. I don't think it's a case of the card being that bad because some people he plays a good role. Like if you got a Kobe, if you got a T Mac, yeah. if you got another primary ball handler, Draymond's gonna be the best player because you can switch everything. He's gonna play defense all the way around, and he doesn't gotta run the offense. But if you're looking for someone that's gonna run the offense, yeah, Draymond sucks. But that's what like what were you expecting though- here? Even as a spot up though, release on slow was tough. Like you got to be wide open, wide yeah. open to get that bitch off. So I, uh, I don't it's know. Like, it's like they could have gave him normal, but at the same time, he's the best on ball defender in the game. You know, and he plays point guard. Yeah, you, yeah. you you gotta you he's gotta there, yeah. you gotta take you know like he's the, like he's the first card who you can like literally put in and switch off. You could do it with Magic, but Magic's not a good enough defender to really do it. Uh, Thompson twins too. Yeah, that's valid. But I think Draymond is just like that. He's just that all the way around yeah. guy. He just can't. He just can't shoot, and that's cool. <laughs> you know. What do you think it, about the drop? You you like it too? Way it was decent. Nothing spectacular, like you guys have said. The Draymond. Yeah. Everybody, like you said, they were expecting way too much for it. I'm thinking like they saw a tall point guard, a glitched point guard, and they thought it was going to be game breaking because that's what they're used to with the glitch promo. But with the pacing this year, we should have just known what we were in for. They weren't going to change the jump shot timing. So it was going to be slow on regardless, which is obviously going to be hard to get off in any situation. But the Pager, I was using Pager the other day, and that card's actually really good. It's just I feel like his price tag's a little too high for, like, say, a casual player that doesn't play the game 24-7 and doesn't want to spend 200 k on a diamond. But yeah, other than that, the drop was pretty mid, honestly, in my opinion. Yeah, I say Paige is a type of card where if you like, if you do the challenges and pull him, cool. He's a great card. He's not a game breaking card, but he's like, you know, solid. You can find room for him in the rotation. But also, something they I brought didn't. Back uh, Deacon back. Uh, so yeah. 999K. They, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. That was ridiculous. It, Unless you pull Draymond, you, you're not make, you're not making your money back. Yeah, that's ridiculous. And like with the equal chance pack like that, that'd be cool if the cards were better. Like you yeah, know, like say say they ninety nine k for a Martian Gortat, you'd be sick. Like yeah, like a like, like a ninety nine k equal chance pack for like the Inferno set, where like if I pulled Paolo, I'd be like, I didn't make my money back, but you know that's He's, a great he'll card. Play. He'll play. Whereas with this pack, it's pretty much was it there was was there five or four cards? There was one pink diamond, four. one diamond. So you had a twenty five percent chance of making profit. Like yeah, no, that's ridiculous. But also, I was gonna say this was also a midweek drop. How often are midweek drops good? Yeah, unless it's a fr- yeah on Fridays. Two yeah, I feel like midweek really drop. Yeah, midweek drops are kind of always kind of trash. Yeah, 
I think when people saw Glitch, they, yeah, you know, that's exactly what they I got said. excited. Well, because last year, they Glitch was fire. Like, the first Glitch set was, wasn't it the Hakeem Play set? Tom. Yeah. No, I'm talking about last year. Last year. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that Hakeem mm -hmm. card came out the gate. 95 three ball, a solid jumper. I liked his Q on that card. Amazing defense. Glitch has been crazy for years, though, man. Like... I don't know how long you guys been playing my team, but I don't know if it was 22, 21, when it was like week one, they gave us glitched diamond to Kembe at the center. Oh, and he ran the game forever. Everybody used him till like January, and he was one of the first drops. So like people that's what people were expecting. They saw a glitch, so like, oh, this card, the top card in here is gonna run for me for a few weeks, months. And that's and what I that think that was just not the case. Not, not to get too much off topic, but I think that's what 2K is missing this year. Where the pacing isn't like I don't hate the pacing at all. I'm not a dribble guy, so I don't care too much about the SIGs. I wouldn't mind having some quicker jump shots, but we're missing those cards that we get early on that run for a while. They've done a good job, well, a good job on their part of making every card slightly better than the, like in the next set so that we keep buying them. Whereas, like, normally we have, like, you know, like you said, the kick bay. He comes out week one. You don't got to get a new center for a while. Um, last year, there were some good cards, too, like the trophy set. Like, so you got, you know, after the uh, season one, you got a whole team of pink diamonds if you grind it hard enough. But you don't got to really worry about buying any cards. This year, it hasn't been like that. It's just been every every set, there's an upgrade somewhere. Yeah. I, I feel like yes and no, though. Because I feel like a lot of the lineups you run into, it's going to be Kobe. It's going to be Wimby. It's going to be, like, a lot of the cards in these top lineups, like the lineups you run into all the time, they've been in, out since Christmas. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that's valid. So it's like, so it's like, yeah, like the middle of the road cards, yeah, but, like, the top cards have been the top cards for But I guess I'm talking while, from much. the perspective of a broke boy who couldn't get Kobe and Wimby. Like you know, those yeah, those cards, spent, yeah, yeah. Spent, we, those those, those up, cards were week. great, and all the cards that have been that way have been locked behind the expensive, expensive lock ins. Yeah. Right, what do we got on here? All right, so you want to lead us off on the defense versus offense, Josh? I just wanted to touch on this subject right here. I feel like the best defensive lineup you can put in the game is light years better than the best offensive lineup you can put in the game. They're catering so much towards defense this year. And people who like want to dribble or like create their shots, they're kind of just getting left behind, I feel like. All right, build the lineups me, for me. I, I need to hear. I mean, if if you want so Draymond, Pippen, John Isaac, Tyson Chandler, and like Wimby or something. Yeah, I was just going to say, so imagine this tomorrow, you run into a Draymond uh dr j pippen tyson chandler and yeah how are you gonna oh yeah that's tough that? like even the best offensive lineup you got what probably book kobe paul george i don't even Kate. like oh, no, not oh. the best like, offensive yeah, yeah, Chad, I was just to chat too. yeah chet and then kp chet. at center chet. the defensive lineup is gonna fuck them up yeah, respectfully a lot of defense <laughs> But you can't you can't put Wimby in the center because he don't got no strength. He he don't play defense. He's gonna block some shots, but he don't play no defense. He's gonna play some defense. He's gonna play some defense. I personally have drop stepped him but, with very mediocre center. Yeah, but the offensive oh. one's running Christos Przingis. It's not like you're running Yao on the offensive lineup. You're running Przingis. They're the same build. Yeah. I'd so I mean, I feel like they need to give more. That's what I'm really hoping is Beasley's him, man. I really hope Beasley's nice. Yeah. Same and with Yi. Just give us some players that can play some offense. Somebody who could do something on the court besides pick and roll, pick and pop, or back cut. And here's a theory. They 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 went away from the 250k tournament. Maybe they like they, they don't they obviously don't want the sweats to stop playing because they spend the most money out of anybody. Well, no, not necessarily because the sweats can earn their MT by just playing the game. But maybe they just don't give a fuck about y'all no more. Like, you know, like, let's just like, they're like, why? Like, no, we don't care. Like, we're going to give these cards that we know people are going to spend money on anyways. We don't care about these SIGs because y'all aren't going to spend no money anyways. Fuck out of here. Maybe. True. 
Because think about the guy. Would be like, oh, that's my favorite player. I'm gonna go buy him. Especially that's what they're going off. They're going off a name. Yeah, yeah, especially this year when you can earn MT like so easily. The sweats that are playing the game daily, they don't got spend shit. They don't yeah. got spend the dime. Unless they're loose with their MT. <laughs> that's why they got a sixty percent tax. Yeah, that's that yeah, that's, that's that's true. So you can't once you spend it, you can't get shit back. This portion of the podcast is sponsored by you guys, all of our viewers, or more specifically, our members. We're up to two members, which is going to be Wyatt Tona and Ghost Ride the Whip. But also, shout out to Jay Bowman for the support. He dropped almost $20, $25 in Super Chats, and Ghost Ride dropped some Super Chats as well. So as always, I appreciate you guys just watching, but all financial support gets the shout out in the sponsorship segment. So if you want to join that, Press the little money sign on underneath the video and they'll get you hooked up there. Thank you. All right. So secret draft time. So those who are unfamiliar, oh, go, go ahead, Josh. This one's always controversial. We either make it too easy or too difficult. So hopefully we found a good uh, happy medium. Uh, yeah, I think I think this one's decent. I think this one's not too yeah. bad. I hope not. All right. So those playing somebody along was cooking us in the, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody was cooking us in the last episode in the comments. First off, fuck you, respectfully. Because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, I tried, all right, man? I can't help it. This dude drafted rookies and shit. No, so, okay, so here's where the miscommunication with that was. I was looking at it just as people who have not made an all-star game. I think yeah. the way you meant it as was... People who deserve to make an all-star game, but did it, or, or the best, yeah. or the best players that never made it. So we were on different pages there. That was just a miscommunication yeah. thing. So, but yeah, respectfully, that was that was your asshole. I, just, like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I, I just, just I, 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 I responded to it. I think I just put like a shrug emoji. I was like, mm, okay. Oh, I did see that in the comments. I know what you guys are talking. We'll about. be better next time, I guess. Sorry, yeah, buddy. my fault. My fault, OG. But uh, so for those who are, are aren't familiar with the game, me and Josh know the subject to the draft. We're all going to draft a five team lineup. And two way has to try and guess the theme based on who we're drafting. So if you don't want to know the subject, close your eyes for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, you can open your eyes. So Josh, you want to start us off for me? I'll let you go first. All right. I feel like I draft him every draft at the two. Give me pink diamond Kobe. Okay. All right, at my center, I'm going pink diamond for Zingus. The first round is never anything to go on. It's just yeah, you kind you kind of just gotta just throw something out yeah. there, and maybe you'll hit with it. I'll go pink diamond, Hakeem. Okay. Okay. So at my one, give me Amethyst Jason Kidd. Am I one? I'm going Diamond James Harden. Am I one? I'm going Diamond Devin Booker. Okay. All right. At my three, give me Pink Diamond Vince Carter. At my two, I'm going Diamond Kawhi. Right. Um, at my three, I'm going Diamond LeBron. At my four, give me Pink Diamond KG. That's actually who I was going to take in my four. Um. <laughs> All right, you know, it's fine. At my four, I'm going Diamond Anthony Davis. At my four, I'm going... Let me get Pink Diamond Chet. All right. Okay. And at my five, give me Diamond Rudy Gobert. Okay. And at my small forward, I'm going Pink Diamond KD. KD. Mm. You got thrown off there for a second. I, for a second, yeah. Okay. Um... At my two, I am going uh, Pink Diamond, Dr. J. I have no clue. <laughs> it sounds like All you right, don't got no clue. Line. Yeah, no All clue. Right. So maybe after we go through our lineups, you'll get a better a better clue. We're going, for me, I got Amethyst J. Kid, Pink Diamond Kobe. Uh, shit, who was my three? Vince Carter, I think. Yeah, Vince Carter, Pink Diamond, Vince Carter. At the four, I had... K KG, Pink Diamond, and at the five, 
I had Rudy Gobert, Diamond. And my one, I had Diamond Harden, two, Diamond Kawhi, three, Pink Diamond KD, four, Diamond Anthony Davis, five, Christos Rosingas. Pink uh, Diamond. Do, do you have any clue who this may be? No. What the hell? Alright, so I anybody, always anybody, get lost in these. I'm not gonna anybody lie to watching, before we say who we got, everybody leave your comments down below your best guess on what you think it is. This is all players, because it is the trade deadline, all players that got traded in their careers. Okay. So Kobe on yeah. draft night. Yo, okay. Yeah. Okay, I see where you guys are. Up until you got to Rudy Gobert, I was like, you got the all 90s squad. 90s, That's what I see. He was going with that. He said Kid, Kobe, Vince, and I thought we were doing like decades because then you started with yeah. Booker, LeBron. Or well, like, I tried I tried yeah. to throw you throw you a bone a little bit with Rudy Gobert because that was, you know, a big trade. So I tried yeah. to like, you know, to drop a little bit of a hit there. But I, KD threw oh. me off because I forgot KD got traded from Brooklyn to Phoenix. I almost went with Diamond Siakam, something a little bit more recent, but it didn't happen today. So it was like, I could have took, I guess, you know, a bum that got traded today since there's nothing but role players. <laughs> yeah, then, no, then, today's spread that line was trash, <laughs> but this ain't the NBA podcast, so we're not going to get too far into that. All right, so my team mobile, 2K. Okay, I will say this. I will say this. 2K this year has done a lot of very good things. They've done a lot of very good things. But when they fuck up, they fuck up. <laughs> like, <laughs> they've had some big misses this year. <laughs> and, and I, I think was my, gassing this fucking app last podcast. And but that's people the thing. were probably like... Yeah, you got, you got people shit deleted, Josh. God damn. Hey, man. No worries. Josh, they sent it all to Josh, my Josh, Josh the feds. That's crazy. <laughs> all right. Pack them up. But, but that's the fucked up thing. The app, from what I hear, I haven't downloaded it myself, is actually really good. Like, it's yeah. way better than the remote play. It's like a great option. And now everybody's scared to download it. Yeah. See, it was a great app, and it was like a great thing that they added, like you guys said. Um, it's just that it wasn't executed correctly, obviously, and it led to another thing that 2K has messed up this year. But yeah, it's a great idea. Like for someone like me who works all the time and can't be at the setup all day, like the grind triple thread offline or even online, it was a great idea. It's just yep. as soon as I heard people were getting their accounts deleted, I got scared and deleted the whole app. So yeah, because like you said, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't take it online. But like you said, I'm at work a lot, and like the remote play was cool. But I'm not gonna leave my PS5 on all day just to do the remote play. Mm. So the app is like, you know, it was dope to play. You know, some triple threat offline, some clutch time offline, some domination. You know, while I'm at work on my lunch break, you know, I'm like that. I don't got a fucking life. Sue me. But uh, yeah, like I hope. But the thing, the big issue is that. Yeah. They never all year, except the re, the the first what was it called the re, not was it the rewind set that glitch season rewind, yeah. the season rewind. Besides yeah. that, they haven't acknowledged any of their fuck ups, and that's the issue. They just started promoting the app again. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting <laughs> Discord, I'm getting Discord notifications talking about if you haven't downloaded the new app, be sure to download it. I'm like, first of all, delete me off your Discord. Fuck y'all. Secondly, stop sending me notes. Shit. And yeah, that's my biggest beef. Just acknowledge it. Just come out. Even if you can't fix it at this point, just come out and say it. We fucked up. Yeah. Like, like the PG one was bad. They know how many people got like free shit and they just did but that, not care. But that's the thing with the, with the PG one, it was less uproar because at the end of the day, their fuck up led to many people's game right so it wasn't necessarily like everybody was mad this is like nobody won from this yeah, that's true all all i want like i said all i want is, is just post a ricky bobby meme what do you want me to say dale i fucked up i just just, just post something like even like if you can't give us our account because from, from what i heard what i heard was if they could check the records and see your account got deleted 
and they'll give you like your 10 best cards back or something through 2k support which is like i guess better than nothing but you start with zero mt zero oh, vc yeah <laughs> you're punishing me for downloading your shit like <laughs> Why do they have a delete account? Buddy? Man, that's so I, stupid. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, my kids get my phone all the time, man. Can it, you imagine? It, you know, that's, that's, the fear that, that's the fear that ran through my head today. Because a piece of me was like, you know, I could just download the app and I'll just be like very careful. Because, you know, I can be very careful. But then I was like, then again, I get my dollar by phone like every day. <laughs> that she'll fuck around and wander onto the 2K app. And delete all my shit and the next thing you know like i'm just asked out like what well, like who thought like like okay i just, I just want to be in the boardroom like you know okay 2k mobile app cool 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 you can play all the game modes auction house don't gotta be on wi-fi awesome but we gotta make sure they had this button in case you know just in case you never know someone might want to delete all their information just <laughs> like like that doesn't make any sense bro and then there's even like a prompt that says like if you delete this your information it'll delete on both this one and your console but i'm like but like so people who got their shit deleted there's no way they read that and we're like okay cool like th there's no way that's has to be more to it i'm scared to down or i'm scared to load it up bro. yeah I'm I, I deleted it the day i heard people were like losing their accounts i was like i'm not even gonna try and load up and when i when i found out people were getting their shit deleted out for i was like for once i feel glad that i was late on something because i'm always <laughs> i'm always late on everything and i was like oh god i dodged that bullet man it was the glitch too because you're only playing against people who are also playing on mobile and if you connected your controller, you were winning ninety nine percent of your games, man. That I had like, I was fifteen wins in for Tyson Chandler, and then all this happened. I was like, damn, now I gotta go sweat it out on console. Fuck. Yeah, la last week Josh is on the pod talking about yeah, download the app. You're gonna play a couple games, and then whenever you're done, just go ahead and hit the delete account button, and you'll be good to go. <laughs> I, I set them all up. All yeah, right, that was a, that was a quote. That's me. My bad. <laughs> so, so. Josh raised the question, is there any chance that people are faking their account getting deleted? Yeah, so definitely a possibility. But but so here here's my thing. I owe an apology to uh, what was homeboy's name, Josh? From last week we talked about question. the guy that got his whole shit deleted. Was last it lethal? week lethal lethal, lethal. lethal, probably. Yeah, lethal shooter. shooter, whatever. Yeah, I, I, I own I owe him an apology because I questioned, you know, I was unfamiliar with your game because there's no way he was lying because he posted all this shit before it was announced that that's why it was happening so everybody was like how the fuck do you just get all your shit deleted this doesn't make any sense well blah 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 and then it comes out on how it actually happened so in his case he wasn't lying but i don't know about anybody else you know people would just be clout chasing so yeah you know how much clout you can get just by deleting it on purpose and saying that 2k did it yeah i could literally because i because i haven't touched my main account in like months since we started my team wars pretty much i could easily just download log into that account oh my god all my stuff got deleted because it still says that gave me dad 25 so it still looks like it's my account and then boom next thing you know i'm fucking viral <laughs> I wonder if they have a way of like knowing if you deleted it or if like it was their fault. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they just assume it's always our fault. They're never yeah, to blame so for any of the fuck ups. Being the wrong. You're right. Yeah, they're like, well, us wrong? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck's wrong with you? Hold this band. <laughs> I did see right, he got so compensated though. That that lethal dude did get compensated. He got like a bunch of glitch twenty boxes and he got his ten best players back. Oh, did he? He got, no, he got boxes? Was, no, he posted somebody. No, somebody else got that. He posted his. Oh, today. that wasn't him. That wasn't him. okay. No, the, he got the dude got like seven or eight twenty boxes of the glitch packs. They gave him his top ten cards and thirty five k MT, and that's it. And that's it. I would be so. <laughs> the other two guys. <laughs> He had like 1.8 million MT. They're like, as a make right, here's 35k. <laughs> 35k <laughs> and go, some boxes. Go get you one deluxe and one base pack. Yeah, and, and some they boxes. Get, no, he didn't get the boxes. 
He didn't get the oh, boxes. No? That was the other dude. Nah, the other dude's the one who got the boxes. <laughs> They set the other dude up. That, whoever his uh, 2K support rep was, he was not fucking with him. He was sped up. First, so can I, uh, can I tell a quick story before we move on? Fuck 2K support. Fuck 2K support. So back in 2K, it had to be like 2K19. No, no. Yeah, I think it was 19, right? You know how 2K drops those things where they put the promotion right there in your fucking face? And it says like, oh, buy this bundle to get an extra so-and-so, you know, it loads up every single time you load the game. So it was, if you buy the 450K VC bundle, you got an extra two, I think it was an extra 250K VC, right? And I was like, I was like, you know, I was gonna buy the 250K VC, you know, I got it. Then we go and just buy this 450K VC, right? I clicked it. it. It took me to the regular screen to buy 450k VC. I was like, boom, whatever. I didn't get the 250k VC. I wasn't even tripping like that, but I was like, you know, let me put the support ticket in. They were like, that deal's expired. And I was like, so the deal was expired, but it still popped Proper. up on my shit. And at the time, I had like the Elgato still. So I had the replay buffer on. So I pressed that to like go back and see that like. And then so, no, uh, yeah, no, it was expired. And I was like, well, I got a video of me clicking on the advertisement, show taking me to the store and paying for it. And then so they're like, send us the video. Okay, cool. Here's the video. Didn't get a response for like a week. Okay, cool. I sent another email, follow up. Same quote. Here's the video. <laughs> oh, that might be edited. We don't know. <laughs> like, what? And then I posted a rage video about it on YouTube and everybody's like, oh, you should have known that when you went to the store, it didn't say anything about it. And I was like, how the fuck was I? So I never clicked one of these advertisements before. Yeah, I guess it's a skill gap issue, but fuck 2K support. <laughs> but, uh, you got to know how to buy VC. Yeah, I guess it's a skill gap. My, my wallets weren't deep enough to be familiar with the VC buying game. <laughs> All right, so let's move into the next segment. I got a question. So, first of all, before I do that, I got a question. I want y'all to be to drop some hypothetical questions because I'm not very creative. So, anybody watching this video, drop a comment with a good hypothetical or 2K question in general, so you can move, use it moving forward. But today's, I got a question for both of y'all. Would you rather shoot the three with Steph Curry, Pink Diamond, for five K, five thousand dollars, or? Shoot the three with New Year's resolution to Kimbe Unevo for five million. <laughs> One shot, no warm ups. I'll just take the free five k. I don't think the Kimbe's hitting that first try. Uh, nah, get get me into triple threat offline on semi pro with real player percentage. I'll go to the corner. I you still clay? Give me hall. Give me give me Hall of Fame Dimer. I'll take the chances. Fuck it. I'll just take the free 5k book it every time with Curry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you let's do yeah, you got sometimes life's a risk. Shit. It's taxi around the corner. I'm like, yeah, you know, like 5k is cool. <laughs> but that 5 million. I think I, I never shot with the Kimbe, but I think I might risk it for the biscuit. Throw that pink that diamond uh, Larry Bird coach on. You can't no, like if you don't do real player percentage, you're never gonna make it. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You gotta go real player percentage. You can't do shot timing. Nah, Josh, not drinking the Mountain Dew. That's crazy. They didn't follow me back. It's personal now. <laughs> That's personal. <laughs> All right. So let's get into a little bit about Two Way Dream. All right. We, we got to get into your content a little bit. We always like to, to pick the guest brain a little bit towards the end of the podcast. So should we should we should we go straight into the straight, straight into the heat or should we start slow, Josh? What do you think? Let's ease our way into it. Let's ease our way into it. Just put a put a little lube on it. <laughs> Relax, please. Don't ever say that shit to me again. <laughs> I feel like I feel like once I feel like once a week, whether it's on my team wars or the podcast, Josh says don't ever say that shit. <laughs> yeah. It's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to like, I'm gonna have to start like bleeping out. When you talk, this, this ain't I'm Twitter. Like this ain't Twitter. You, you can't, you can't mute words. This ain't Twitter. <laughs> I'll find a way. 
All right. When did you start making my team content? So like actually making content, like streaming and posting on YouTube. This was my first year actually, but playing the game, I've been playing my team since 2K13. So this is your first year starting like, I'm assuming because this is like 2024 now. I mean, mm -hmm. like you mean like this 2K24 oh, so like game? Yeah, 2020, 2K2024 was the first game I've actually streamed. Oh, okay. so I started streaming like 2023 around October-ish. Okay. And is someone was that, that your plan whenever the game? Go ahead, my bad. I was gonna say, was that your plan when this new game dropped? That's when you were gonna start making content on it, or was it after the game dropped? You're like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, it was. So even last year, I was like, not to be cocky, but like I'm pretty decent at the game. Like my records are always really good. I'm always getting like the grindable cards. And so last year, I was like, I should probably start but i was in school and had to finish up school and stuff had to take that serious and then so at the end of this year when 2k24 came out i was grinding everything playing 24 7. so i was like might as well just start streaming it and then I actually started taking it serious once yeah i started getting the little bit of recognition from that hakeem i started actually streaming <laughs> every day and taking it a little bit more serious and so when you started was it just like a like you said, it was it was planned. Once you finish school, you're gonna start doing it. But mm -hmm. like, I guess because I've been like not successfully, obviously, because I'm still in fucking trash. But I've been doing it for so long that I can't remember what made me finally do it. So, so mm -hmm. what made you finally just jump into it? Like I said, just always well growing up, loving the game, obviously, and watching people like Jesser, Cash Nasty, OSN, just streaming the game and having so much fun and like interacting with the whole community. I wanted to be part of that, and like obviously, like I said, I'm on the game all day, so might as well just put out the content. That's exactly how I felt about it. It's like I'm gonna do it anyway. I might as well throw on a camera and see what happens. Exactly. Yeah. Let me now, keep my comments I to know. myself before, before Josh tells me never say that shit again. <laughs> never say that shit again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's uh, let's pause. I was, I was gonna say that's that's um, what Drake said. I'm gonna be doing this shit anyways. I'm, Might as well turn the camera on. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Don't even get me started on the Drake. Oh my God. <laughs> that boy, that boy was wag that boy was that wagging was around moment. like a tail. <laughs> Not what I hey, this, is your, this is going up on your channel, so you know what? Say whatever you want. I can't say <laughs> shit to you, but <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> All right. This Hakeem situation. Oh, boy. Um, You were the first to get Hakeem, correct? Absolutely. Depends on who you ask. Did you get, no, did you, did you get the real one or the fake one? I, I heard different stories. It depends who you ask. But okay. I feel like if you play 33 straight hours, there's no way a card can be fake. So how did you get Hakeem? Um, as a the two-way clan, my boy, two-way nightmare and two-way panda, we were started off in co-op. We were playing online for like the first few hours, I would say. Mm -hmm. So the season came out at 11. I would say we played co-op till about like 12 at night and mm -hmm. we barely lose. Maybe we went like 150 and five. So then it was like 12 at night and we couldn't start. We started to not get games and like it would take like five to 10 minutes to find a game every time. And I knew I was like, all right, I'm already 150 games and there's no way people are like this close in other game modes. Because like unlimited that it's going to take 60 hours regardless just to get the card. And co-op is takes two to three minutes a game if you hit all your shots. So we were. Uh, like I said, at 12 at night, we just started to hop into offline and games were taking two to three minutes and we were just like, fuck it, might as well just stay up all night and get the Find cards. Yeah. So, so was co-op offline and online combined or like at midnight yeah. you said, fuck it? Yeah. Okay, so it's combined. Okay. Yeah. So so when you, when you were doing it, it was just you playing with your friends. It wasn't like you looking for a loophole on the fastest mm -hmm. way to do it. No, not but, at all. But even then, it wasn't even the loophole because 2K set in stone exactly yeah. what the requirements were for each game mode. So there mm -hmm. was no loopholes involved. You you picked your game mode and you exactly. played it. Exactly. I feel like it was a gift and a curse, honestly. 
the whole thing happening the way it happened. Yeah, absolutely. Because like I feel like that gave you so much exposure, especially when people started talking shit. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> hey, all publicity is good publicity. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Well, for the most for the most part, I saw people like backing you. Like what? Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I would love to get into the beef a little bit with. Uh, I think everybody. Oh yeah, we, we will. Is there yeah, actual? Is there actual beef? No, I'm no. curious. Um, so that's okay. what I wanted to talk about. It started off as beef. Well, not even. Beef. Uh-huh. I know who he was, obviously, from last year and what he has done in previous two Ks. I know who he was, but as soon as I got the card and I like posted it on Twitter, some dude from his chat was like, "Yo, he's been talking shit about you all day. You gotta come <laughs> in here." So I get in there and then he was just like, you're a cheater. There's no way you could get it done in that amount of time. You were just like, and you played offline. It was just every excuse under the bus to why I got it first. But now it's been like a few months since Hakeem and yeah, we're pretty good now. We play co-op a lot together. Um, You guys actually play together. Yeah, I'm a mod in his chat and- Oh shit. Yeah, we're actually pretty cool now. It's like a storybook ending. Absolutely. That's crazy. So, so, so let me ask you a question. Because you know Carlo way more than me, mm-hmm. right? I've never even talked to the guy. We had a debate when this thing popped off about whether we thought he was like dead ass about like the fake Hakeem thing. Mm-hmm. I said he was just doing it just to like, just to make the news. He right, was I he was a hundred percent. That's crazy. <laughs> That's exactly what I said at the That's time. That's crazy. I said at the time, I was like, "Look, I've never really watched Carlo like that, but from everything I've seen, he meant every word." He said. was a hundred percent salty because he was still talking about it like four days after the fact. And yeah, trust me, if you know Carlo, you know he likes to be first in those kind of grinds, and he he got pretty salty when he was not first a king. Now, so at the end of the day, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Is he nice? For the Did he card, really like... was it worth it? Hell no. But for like for what the, we've yeah, built off of getting it, absolutely. Yeah. So, so when the Hakeem came out, how far into content were you? Like how many months? Okay, so what was the key? Let me go to my Twitter yeah. real quick. When did I get that? Key? I think it was like early December. Yeah, second of December. So, literally, I had that. I started this Twitter in October. So, two months, two months into posting Twitter. So you got like the you got the ultimate cheat code on growing a streaming in a month. Yeah, you got like literally the ultimate cheat code on growing a stream. Well, not cheat code because you you know you earn you you grinded. Yeah, I get but you, you also mean. had a very big YouTuber just like start a beef with you for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, and and as you guys probably know, that 2K reposted me when I got the Hakeem, and that oh, yeah. helped out. That helped out a ton. Yeah, man, so, that's that's a hell of that, a grind, man. It was that's a yeah, hell of a fucking grind. Thirty three hours straight, bro. We, even like obviously i'd have to go to the bathroom we would never like be in the pause menu or like out of the game for 33 me, me personally we i would game. just pissed in bottles me personally <laughs> like but, we would i would be like yo i gotta go and then he would be like taking all the shots and i would just have my player like running around like having the controller down so i wouldn't lag out of the game man that's dope though that's dope that's it's kind of it's dope that you and carlo out. It's tight. It's dope that you and Carlo are like boys now. Oh yeah, for Solid. sure. Cause like I never hated anybody. He was the one that started. The, if he never, if that dude never said like, "Yo, come to his chat. He's talking shit." I would have never like even started talking to Carlo. This wouldn't be a thing, really. The beef would have never. So been so so, so how did that conversation go between like so the first conversation you had with just him? With just was it uh, like you did, did you like DM him or did you like go on the stream and talk to him? But I went into the, the stream, got, I was like, when it got resolved, like how did that conversation go? So we'll start it off with how we met in like our first conversation. I was just like, yo, so I hear you're like talking shit and I'm wondering why. Like I've only been on Twitter for two months and I did something like pretty cool and like got a little bit of recognition for it. And now you're shitting on somebody smaller than you. Like, what's the purpose of that? And he was just like, he, like I said, he was like, you're a cheater. There's no way you could have got it done that fast. And I, I didn't understand it. Like, I didn't un- know why he was like 
saying that, but yeah, he's not a terrible guy. He's a really funny guy, honestly, if you watch him yeah. with his raging and just yelling at the game. He's pretty funny. It's just he's a salty person. He's not the, if you beat him or if you do something better than him, he's going to complain about it and he's just not going to be happy about it. But that's a lot of people. You don't like losing. Everybody's very yeah, competitive. competitive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so but then I never like really paid attention to him. But then I started watching him a lot more and popping in the chat a lot more. You sub to him. And then I try and wager him every single day. I'm in his chat every night trying to resolve oh, the. Like, yeah, you're, you're, on, you're on your splash type shit. Like, like, like wager absolutely. me. And he's never about it. I was like, we could drop the beef. We could wager for the first real Hakeem. If you think it's fake, we could wager for the first real Hakeem. And, and I think I think even if you did that like tomorrow, like months after Hakeem dropped that would get crazy views that's what i tell him and every time he's just scared to play me he says my team's too good my players are all badged out and it wouldn't be a fair game i'm like what i don't know what his team looks like but i can imagine it's probably pretty yeah, much I can't, I, yeah, yeah I, was say, I, I, can't, I was gonna say i can't imagine his team being very bad like right. do one like what fifty thousand off of 2k last year yes, his sir. team's probably nice so <laughs> I will give him a, um, a little bit of respect though. He got that money and now he's no money spent. Like he puts no money into the game. So that's pretty cool. Hey, that is pretty, pretty cool. smart with his money. I will bag. give him that. Me, yeah, me I personally, that, I like, I, yeah, I will, my team yeah. would be stacked. Like every chance I got, I'd be spending money on the game. <laughs> the only problem is then every time you lose, everybody's be like, damn, you lost with that team. Oh, money no, yeah, the the, the so only problem crazy. is every week I'm like, can y'all drop more shit for me to buy, please? <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh, fuck. All, right, all right, Josh. Anything you want to in- do before we uh, before we wrap up? We got to do my favorite segment, the begging segment. Well, no, no. But like, I, I got one more thing I want to add before the very, very oh. end. I was talking oh, more set, like fucking set me up, man. What the fuck? Nah, you you do whatever you need to do, man. Okay, so I got a quick story, right? Let's hear it. I t- I talked to my brother on the phone like all day, every day, damn near. We do the same job, so we talk on the phone while we're doing it, mm. and. Josh, not to build you up or anything. And I told him how I did the one chip challenge last night, right? And he was like, why'd you do the one chip challenge? I said, I, I lost the, the bet in the My Team Wars. He said, how come every time you talk about this motherfucker, Josh, it's about you losing to him? <laughs> hey. I was like, damn, hey. my fault. <laughs> That's what fucks me up, because then I stream afterwards and I lose and people are like, oh, you're actually ass. And I'm like, so that's I never said I, like, I, I was never so said I was high. good. I just that's won. Where I'm actually at, like, God damn. All right, Josh, go ahead and wrap it up. All right, begging segment. I don't know if you've ever seen the episode this far in, but we do is we ask you to help us get on another guest who you think would be a good fit. You've been on here for what about an hour now, so you know what the vibe is like. So. uh if they go Hollywood on us, though, we're going to have to ask you to step in and, you know, mm-hmm. help us out. I think it would only be right if we got on. You and Josh already knows who it's going <laughs> to be. Know. Josh already I know knows who it's, who it's about yeah. to be. We got to get that boy Carlo on here. Um, a 250 qualifier twice. Yes, sir. Qualified twice. And I definitely think we can make that happen. You guys could do I that. Shoot him a message. And if not, I definitely can make it happen for us. I don't know. Yeah. No, no I hope but- he's on. I hope he's cooking you ass, man. All that shit you was talking. <laughs> no, I, 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 I just got the secret sauce. I just got to challenge him to a wager to hush him up. <laughs> got the sauce. So. Nah, I'd be front row watching take your uh, money. Yeah, I was going to say, if he knows anything <laughs> about me, he'll accept that wager. <laughs> so. All right, two way right, dream. Man. We appreciate you coming by, man. Uh, it was, it was, it was a pleasure. We definitely had to get the background to that story. And it was it was more than I expected. Like I, it, it took a turn. It took a big turn. Yeah. So we appreciate yeah, you taking I, the time to come out with us. I'll let you guys both get your closing statements in. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like some wrestling beef. I thought you guys legit hated each other. It was gonna go down like somebody was gonna have to go down. There's not enough room for the both of you. But now, nah, now that you guys are cool, that that's dope. That's really dope. I'm happy for you guys. 
I appreciate it. I, and I want to say thank you both for giving me the opportunity to be here. It's an honor and a pleasure to be here. Um, sorry if I've been a little nervous. It was my first time doing something like this. Nah, so, you're good. Was you're a really good, cool experience. You're good. It was a really cool experience. And I love, I've been watching the podcast. You guys are doing great things here and keep it up. I'm loving what you guys are doing. Appreciate and it. I would, definitely and I would, back on here. Too. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd like to extend the offer that I always do. Anytime you got something to get off your chest or any topic you like specifically want to touch on, hit us up. You're always welcome to come back. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying to get Carlo on to the next one and see what he's got to talk yeah. about. That, that, that's going to be fun. <laughs> right, but hey, as always, right. y'all be safe. Peace. Deuces. Peace.